Introducing the horses, race number four, fourth race, the second division of the Ohio Fairs Philly Trot. Two-year-old fillies racing one mile, purse $36,052. The trophy by the Ohio State Fair Junior Fair Board. Here's the lineup for the fourth. The one is a carry the message filly owned by Linda Clendenin of Swanton, Ohio. Ron Bateson is the trainer. She with three wins now and six starts has a mark of 202 and three at Raceway Park. Earnings of $12,000 in from Ohio Sires at Northfield Park. Sweet Little Devil tonight, driven by Greg Bateson. The two is an overcomer filly, held by Dean Davis and Jim Snyder of Worcester, Ohio. Kurt Sung, the uh, trainer, with a mark of 205 and 4 at Northfield Park. Earnings of $11,000 in from Ohio Sires at Northfield. Kurt Sung driving over proximity. The three is an Ombro Solar filly owned and trained by Michael Lowe of McConnellsville. With four career starts, she has earnings of $3,800. Coming in from Mount Vernon, Mike Lowe driving wild-eyed Southern Girl. The four is a daughter of Ombro Iliad, owned by Galen Peter McCann of Groveport and Mary Apking of Cincinnati, Jim Marley Jr., the uh, trainer, with a mark of 204 and a four in a qualifier here at the Cider Downs, earnings of $6,000 in from Northfield Park, Jeff Fout, driving Lilliad. The five is a diadem filly, owned by Jimmy Tipton of Akron, Ohio, Jerry Ross Sr., the trainer. Winning three of four career starts, earnings of $16,000 already with a mark of 201 and four. Winning her last three starts, Dan Ross driving Dyer's Connection. The six is an overcomer filly owned by the single stables SL of Florida and Denny Gibbons and Bill Bates of Ohio Pete Sturry, the trainer, with nine starts, earnings of $6,000. Also in from Ohio Sires at Northfield, the six horse overcame with Pete Sturry. And the seven is an overcomer filly owned by Milan Vukovic Jr., Patricia Willem, and Charles Martin of Ohio. Marty Willem is the uh, trainer. A mark of 211 and 2 at Mount Vernon, earnings of $4,700, winning by 33 lengths in her last start at Mount Vernon. Marty Willem driving Crystal VW. There's your field for the second division, Ohio Fairs Philly Trot, racing one mile, win play show perfected, trifecta wagering, six minutes until post time. Second division, two of the Philly Trotters are lining up and moving in. They're on the back stretch, and they're approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and it's Wild-Eyed Southern Girl, the fastest off the gate, moving quickly for the lead. From the outside, Dias Connection is now grinding it up early and is racing second at the rhythm three, Sweet Little Devil. Angling into fourth comes Lilliad at the inside and five over proximity. Trotting is sixth, it's over Cami Crystal VW trailing early seventh as they round the first turn. And Dias Connection, as to be expected, has made the frontier and she opens up by two. Wild Line Southern Girl on the inside, it's trotting a second, the opening quarter 29 and one. The Phillies now in straight alignment as they come past us for the first time and it's the heavily favored Dias Connection leading by two. On the inside, racing second, the longest shot of the board, Wild Eyed Southern Girl. Then comes Sweet Little Devil, who's about two lengths back, trotting third. Uh, bigger gap fourth to over Proximity, who's now underway. Lilliad after it is trotting fifth. Then comes over Cami, followed by Crystal VW as they approach the half. Here's the half, 58 and four. A brisk pace here in the second quarter for Dias Connection as she has extended that lead now by five. Dias Connection getting away a bit here from the rest of the field, but Sweet Little Devil will quickly take care of that. And Bateson is on the move with Sweet Little Devil is now four lengths back second. Wild-eyed Southern Girl is still a game third. And Lilliad is closing to the outside fourth over proximity is racing fifth as they move into the final turn and Dias Connection will need a breather somewhere here's the three quarters 129 and 2 and Sweet Little Devil is right there knocking on the door Lilliad up the rail an alert drive here and over proximity three wide of the outside turning to the top of the stretch now less than an eighth of a mile ago and down the stretch they come Dias Connection clinging to that lead Lilliad down to the inside and over proximity with a full head of steam here taking the lead and it's over proximity Proximity, five to one shots. On the inside, Lilliet is showing late trot, but it's over proximity, home free. Here's the wire, two a one and three.
the fourth race is now official. The $2 perfected $24, $94.40, $94.40. The uh, two four seven uh, trifecta combination three thousand four hundred eighty four dollars forty cents thirty four eighty four forty trackside, ladies and gentlemen, is the official winner of the second division Ohio Fairs Philly Trot number two over proximity, a daughter of overcomer from the mighty crown mare, mighty proxy. How about Dean Davis and James Snyder of Worcester, Ohio? Kurt Sugg is the trainer and uh, the driver. Over proximity was bred by the Success Acres and uh, Merle Mullet. Trackside making the trophy presentation, the Ohio State Fair Junior Fair Board members, and also the breeders of the two Philly over proximity, Merle Mullet and Levi Troyer. Overcomer sweeping the 1996 Ohio Fairs Philly Trot. Order finish, Sweet Little Devil 5, over proximity, the winners, Wild Eye Southern Girl 6, Lily at 2, Dias Connection 4, over Cami 7, and Crystal VW 3, 5, 1, 6, 2, 4, 7, and 3. I'm coming a fifth race is clear. There are no changes. Win play show perfected, trifecta wagering. No changes, 13 minutes until post time. At the Meadowlands now, less than four. Just a reminder, the simulcasting windows close for Meadowlands wagering at post time. Again, windows close properly at post time for simulcasting wagering on the Meadowlands.